Okay, we have a 2009 Toyota Corolla. Has 167,000 miles. Check engine light is on. The customer's concern is it runs rough, which it does. It's not running very smoothly uh, in this bay. Um, sometimes when you roll up to a stop sign, it will stall. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, seems okay on the higher RPMs. It's on the low RPM uh, that it seems to run rough. Go start it. It starts okay. Not quite sure I like the way it cranks over though. Uh, it's a little, a little rough on uh, when you go to crank it over. So we're going to diagnose this car. Alright, so we know we have a misfire in cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 by retrieving codes with a scan tool. But I don't like the way it cranks over. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a current clamp around the negative battery cable, this Pico. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can do it with voltage, but I'm just trying to be as quick as possible. Uh, that was with channel 1. Channel 2 I have back probed on the um, cylinder 1 ignition coil just so I can use it for cylinder identification and reference. We have it on the big screen. I have the uh, injectors disconnected, so it will not start. So let's go ahead and crank this over. And when you hear it crank over, you, you'll be able to tell. It doesn't sound right. Battery's getting weak, too. So let's take a look. So there's our solar one ignition coil event. So there's one, two, three, four, back to one. Let's look at the big screen real quick. So you can see there's our cylinder one ignition coil event. So there's one, two, three, four, and back to one. So now looking at our firing order, our cylinder layout identification. So it's one, three, four, two. One, three, four, two. One, three, four, two, back to one. And again, we had misfires in cylinder one and two. So one, three, four, two. So one and two. And you can tell, and, and again, you can hear this engine crank over. It doesn't sound good. So three and four are good. One and two are definitely uh, lower in compression. This car's got 170,000 miles. Sorry about my waste oil furnace. Um, I'll talk to the customer, see what they want to do. 170,000 miles. I mean, it, I, at this point, I don't think it's uh, really worth going into the motor. Um, it's probably best to put a used engine in it. And um, the car's in really good shape, so it's definitely worth fixing. All right, thanks, guys. Hey, guys, so I want to make a quick video on this 2009 Toyota Corolla. I wanted to reiterate the fact that I did not condemn the engine just based on the uh, testing I did with the current clamp around the negative battery cable um, you know I only use that as uh, some direction a guide if you will to prove that you know plugs and coils we're not going to fix this vehicle this vehicle has a mechanical issue uh, in the engine and so um, I also did some in-cylinder pressure testing on it and here's some findings that I had here's cylinder one which was um, low based on our first test that we did and it's only producing 71 psi minimum spec on these engines are like 140 145 i believe so again i just wanted to just back up what i was seeing with relative compression this is cylinder four this was a good in, uh, cylinder this was 136 psi and you can see um you know some variations uh in here uh, right there with the you know the vacuum pocket with the exhaust valves about to open um, In comparison to this is the cylinder one that was uh, Had low compression, so there's some variances going on there. I also put a board scope in the in the cylinder cylinder one uh, Just try to look for anything that Stood out, you know quickly um, But 
you know, it's that's actually a droplet of fuel on the valve. So, I mean, there's some things going on in there, uh, but nothing that I could definitively say that, you know, bad valve or, or uh, you know, lots of carbon, you know, but I'm just going to show this all to the customer. I'm going to let him make the call. I just want to give him as much information as I can so he can make a good decision based on what I found. Um, you know, it's 170,000 miles on it. Does he really want to disassemble the engine to try to find the problem, or do you cut your losses and just say, you know what, I'm just going to put a good used engine in it, and, you know, like I said, the car's in good shape, and I'm just going to run it. So I just wanted to uh, just throw that out there. All right, thanks, guys.